Well, hello, friends. Uh, today we're going to work a little bit on the browser. And I'm going to add a way to view the source of whatever we're looking at. So currently we don't have a way to do that. Uh, obviously, if we're on a file URL, uh, we can just open that up in the text editor. But if we go to a website, for instance, then it's there's no way to look at the HTML here. So figured we would just add a menu option and probably map it to the familiar control U. I think that's the standard keyboard shortcut for that. And um, I think we can do something like put the source into a um, .html file on the hard drive and then open that up in the text editor app. Because we don't have to build a um, text uh, thingy right now. But yeah, so just something simple because a little bit short on time today, starting quite late. So um, let's see, browser main. Let's see what menus we have. This is the debug menu. So I guess this isn't strictly debug, more like inspect, really. So we'll put this below inspect DOM tree, maybe, or maybe above it. Why not above it? This is such a classic. Add action, G action, create, view source. Um, oh, wait, hold on. We should have a key bind. Mod control, key U. And then we will do the callback. And it's going to say, um, I guess, um, tree, wait, 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 what do we have here? Do we have a document? We just have the um, HTML widget document. That's how we can get it. So if we have a document, if we don't have a document, Let's just, um, for now, let's just assert that we have a document. Um, and then we're going to need a way to get all the source out of a document. And I think currently there's no good way to do that. Because we don't actually store it anywhere. After we parse the HTML, we just kind of throw it away. So I'm thinking we are going to keep it in, in the document object. We'll keep it as a source string, maybe, for now. Um, so let's see, we'll write that out. Maybe we can even use, um, do we have MKS temp? I feel like somebody implemented that. Oh yeah. Okay. So wait, how does this work again? Char star, right. TMP. Um, Is this how you do it? I forget. MKS temp, unique temporary file name. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, wait, 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 what am I trying to do? This is what I want, okay. And MKS temp is where, I forgot to look, stdlib, all right. Stdlib. So if FD less than zero, we were not able to open it. Oh, we'll just be lazy and assert right now. Um, why don't you tolerate it? Oh, well, whatever. Let's leave it alone. Um, Because I guess the thing is that I don't, I need to know what the file name is. So I'm being silly. Um, file name. Because MKS temp will uh, modify this part of the string and give us an open file descriptor. And then here we have the file name. So it's just a nice way to get a temporary file. 
um, and then we will write to FD. Um, we'll say HTML widget document swoops. Um, and then we'll write it and close it. Okay, so after we do that, then we can open the text editor. So if fork is zero, um, xxl. And then the file name, and then no pair. Okay, so I think we're going to be good with that. Over here, we'll assert not reached. Okay, now we just need to have the source available in the document. So a DOM document needs to provide its source. How the heck do we do that? Mm. Well, we'll start with this, I guess. And then uh, we'll look in the HTML parser. Let's have a string to store the source. Um, HTML parser. Where do we parse HTML document? Here. OK, so we have a string view here. So when we construct this document, we could really just be simple and do this. Um, I think that will work for now. And we can say that. And actually, we can just do it this way. M source is source and return and source. It doesn't have to be more complicated than this at the moment. So it would be nice if this just worked. It's a feature I keep thinking I wish I had. So because like looking at the DOM and looking at the layout tree, it's good. But sometimes you want to look at the source because, especially since we're having trouble with parsing sometimes, you know, you can't really look at the DOM, well, the finished DOM tree if you think that you're producing the DOM tree incorrectly. All right, so hit me with the source. Boom. Look at that. That's really quite nice. And as you can see here, it's opened it up in a um, temporary file and we could probably special case file URLs and open them uh, open them directly instead of writing it out like this but it is neat that this just works Maybe we should special case the file URL stuff. Let's see. So, HTML widget document um, URL protocol is file. And we'll do a special thing else. Do something like that. Um, so if the if it's a file, then, then what do I want to do? Um, File name. Mm. 
-hmm. And if it's a file, then uh, file name to open. Let's store it in the string, and then we can figure this out. So file name to open is temp file name. But here, file name to open is HTML widget document URL path. I think this might just work. So now we are only going to do the temporary file for non-file URLs. This is very hackish, but eh, who cares? It's just a feature for testing and stuff. So view source, boom, look at that. We opened up the local file URL. Maybe we should do uh, syntax highlighting for HTML, actually. It might be interesting. Um, and here, if we open this up, makes a temporary. Do it again, makes another temporary with a different file name. It's pretty cool. Um, ba -ba -ba. I guess that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, let's let's commit this and call it a day. I think because I'm very short on time. Um, so here we'll say libhtml store the parsed HTML, uh, HTML parser input along with that created document. This uh, will allow us to view source later on oh, long after parsing has finished and turned it into a DOM. Yes indeed. And then the view source itself. Not the most beautiful code, but it's okay for today. Add a uh, simple view source menu action this um, this opens the um, source of the current document in text editor um, for uh, file URLs. We open the local file, but for all other protocols. A temporary file is generated containing the document source. Um, this uh, longer term, we should build some kind of viewer into the browser app instead. That would avoid uh, silly problems like how this um, forgets to delete the temporary files, for instance. All right, so just a short one today. After that monster video yesterday, but I think this is pretty neat. So let's open the website right here and uh, I see that uh, there's a distance here between the text and the underline decoration we need to work on that a little bit but uh, here is the source for it pretty neat <laughs> all right so that's gonna be it for today's video very short one but if you made it this far then I still say thank you for watching and for hanging out um, I hope you saw something interesting and Hope you have a great day. Uh, I will see you next time.